lovelies and welcome to this week's episode from Taff Rocks. Now, St Andrew's Day is coming up soon, which will mean when we do this one, we have completed all of the Saints Days for the UK from England, Ireland, Wales and now Scotland. But I want to start on a piece of paper. I have my rock ready, but we're doing the paper. So we, this is going to be a thistle. So I'm going to use different colour pens just to make it easier for me. Our first task is to draw some circles. Well, an oval more than anything. So we're going to start with our oval. If you're using pencil, you can rub out the lines that you don't need. Then we've got our circle. All right, so far so good what's going to happen now is it's going to take you a lot less time than it's going to take me simply because i'm going to wait for my pens to dry we're going to come down here and make it almost look like a vase okay and what we're also going to do That on the bottom that's the stalk you can exaggerate this or shrink it as much as you like me this is the size that I really fancy so that's what I'm doing and now we're going to do some leaves so I'm gonna start with the middle line for both you could do one or two the choice is yours and we kind of gonna do this like as if we were doing a feather because the leaves are quite prickly. Now I can never get one side to look exactly the same as the other side. So if you can't do that, great. If you can do it, I'm stinking jealous. Yeah, see what I mean? <laughs> okay, now that's probably the fanciest looking thistle that you've ever seen but trust me by the time we finished it's going to look absolutely amazing what you need to do now is transfer this onto your rock and as you know yourself I like giving mine a bit of a white undercoat just to start me off and look I did it already now Let's leave that up there. You see this bit here? Let me pick a totally different colour. Hang on a second. Right. You see this top bit here? Now we're going to colour all of this in purple. Yeah, I know. I used pink. And then the other colours, this this and all of these is going to be green now this is just the base color because eventually we're going to be putting a lot more detail on this are we ready i'm going to get some paints i don't want to use paint pens today i'm going to be using paints because i've got a couple of different shades of green and purple and i want the purple to be nice and light because I have this colour purple for the top bit and I need that more than anything else so remember now this was a circle okay if you make an error don't worry about it normally you'll find that the purples are darker than the greens anyway so you can cover that in just been having a look at the different colors that I've got and I have a, this dark green and this very lime color or oh, apple green and forest green and what I think I'm going to do is I am going to do the leaves in the forest green and the bulb part of this thistle in the apple green so I'm just going to get straight on and paint that. Mm -hmm. 
So that's my apple green finished with. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint the leaves, but I'm not going to wash my brush. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait for all of this to dry. I'm not entirely sure if I want to do a second coat with this apple green. I quite like the fact that it desperately looks like it needs a second coat, but I want to put stuff on top of it. And then once that's nice and dry, we're going to come back and we'll paint that. So I will see you in literally just a second for you guys. Okie dokie, this is nice and dry. And because I didn't have the right color purple in my paints, what I've done is I've mixed a bit of the dark purple or royal purple, this is called, with some white. And all I'm going to do once I get this off my hands is paint this top piece. Now I know what you're thinking, this is way too light. And yes, it is, but this is more of a background for a minute just to fill in all the white bits. Now that might look really silly right now, but trust me in a sec. You can, if you like, just draw some lines like you would if you was drawing a pineapple, or you can do some zigzags, or you could do whichever shape you want. I want to do this in such a way that it's not really looking too much like a thistle. So I am going to draw myself a couple of lines. I'm gonna take a bit of this greenery away. It's just a little too much, just flatten it off ever so slightly. Now what I want to do with it is I'm just going to do the zigzags. They don't have to be perfect because my certainly won't be. It's kind of like a Christmas bauble. I don't know if you can see those. I hope you can. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in some spaces with some patterns. Now, if you've got a thin brush and your hands are far steadier than mine, please use a brush. But as you know yourself, my hands are not so steady. So I'm using pens. And now I'm just putting little dots to carry on the pattern in those little triangle shapes that I put in. Now this isn't how a thistle looks. You know that, I know that, but hey, who says you have to make it look perfect? And now this is, yep, this is dry. So I need my purple pen Again, if you guys have very steady hands, you can use a very thin paintbrush. And what I'm going to do is, I am going to, do you remember the little oval shape we did first? I'm gonna finish that oval shape or put it back in from here to the green and to this line now I'm going to put just lines and as you can see I'm not doing them right to the top you can do that if you want to but I want to just try something to see if it works now I'm gonna come over this side and I'm gonna do the same again try and meet up with the ones that I've already done which as you can see I'm failing Make sure I fill in any little blanks that I've got left. Don't forget your piece of paper to clean off 
your pen if you're using a pen because these brilliant pens are so pointy sometimes they pick up paint from the previous layer that's not 100% dry and even though this is dry it's still picking up the paint now we've done all the lines and this time for the top we are literally just going to put loads of dots I'm going to put some small dots and I'm gonna see if I've got a good pen a nice purple pen so I can put some big dots in here and just filling the top with just dots and I think what I'll do as well is you see when I've done this line this top line I'm going to put a couple of dots actually on that line and this line just to blend it in ever so slightly okay so far so good now I need some other colors in here so if you're using paints you just mix your paints until you get different shades but I'm now going to add different shades of purple and just keep putting all my little dots on if there's any bits that I don't like of course I will cover it over I've also got a dotting tool you can use like a little skewer or something and I'm gonna put some of the dark purple paint on here this is what I love about doing things that don't look exactly like the real thing artistic license it can just run away with you on the other side of my dotting tool now I have a bigger dot so I'm going to put some of those on and you can even if you want to get a super super fine brush and add some more lines which is what I'm going to do now very happy with that now here comes the fun part where did my other color green go here it is right I don't want the leaves to look perfect either so if you remember I painted these quite scruffy in the uh, what color green was this the forest green now I'm going back to the apple green which is the same color as what I originally done the thistle part and I'm just going to gently put a couple of stripes here and there scruffy up a little never want our paintings to look too perfect brushing until the paintbrush runs out mixing it all in we're going to put some extra detail on this so don't panic okay same thing again line up the middle now I've got a big ugly split in this rock and I want to get some paint in there same thing again put some stripes on here and then keep brushing and uh, blending it in and I'll put any extra paint on this brush alrighty now what I want to do now is I want to start on some outlines and my first outlines are going to be around the whole thing normally as you know yourself I'd do the detail on the inside first but I want these leaves to dry so I'm gonna go and do the outlines on everything else when we come in up this thistle once these leaves are dry we're gonna put some spikes on there but first of all we just need the outline if you guys use this or any of our tutorial videos why not join us over on our Facebook group and share your pictures? 
Now I need to wait until everything on these leaves have dried so I can use this pen. Of course, you guys by now will know that if you're using your acrylics, this is dry enough for you to paint on. Nope, it's ever so slightly not quite right. So I'm going to leave this right here to dry off from the heat, from my little heater by my feet. And when we come back, we're going to be putting some details in here. We're going to be putting the pickies um, of the thistle down the sides. And that will be done. We will have a thistle. It's amazing to think that we started from this scruffy little thing to, well, this not so scruffy little thing. But I need to leave this dry before I come back and put some outlines on this. And I will see you as soon as that time arrives, which will probably be a second for you guys. Alrighty, so nice and dry, hopefully been sitting under the little radiator here for quite a while and now what I'm going to do is just these around the bulb of the thistle itself I am going to draw some little spikes Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to add a little bit of leaf detail into the leaves themselves. And as you can see, it's not a solid line. I didn't want to put too much of a solid line in there. So if you're using paints, you start at the middle and work out. And if the paint runs out on your brush, then that's fine. Like so many others, I have a tendency to want to do more. Now I've done the pattern inside here. I want to do more, but I don't think I'm going to do more because whilst when we were doing this, it looked a bit of a mess. Now it's finished. It's absolutely stunning as it is. We release new tutorial videos every Monday morning. If you'd like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe or sponsor us using any of the supporter links in the description below. Until I see you next week, keep on rocking. Ciao for now. Okay, people, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you love it or not.